An alarming new study continues to show a link between football and a degenerative brain disease. The study from the Journal of the American Medical Association looked at the brains of 111 former NFL players and found 110 of their brains had signs of what's become known as CTE. It's thought to be caused by repeated blows to the head and can only be diagnosed after death. The most common cause of death in players with mild stages of CTE was suicide at 27 percent. Among players with more severe cases, the most common cause was neurodegenerative, similar to dementia and Parkinson's at 47 percent. And that study also included a limited number of high school football players. Three of the 14 players at that level had CTE. Two on your side's Ron Plant spoke tonight with a successful high school coach and a Section 6 official for their take on the potential impact on younger players and ways to reduce the risk. He won a state football championship in 2015 with the South Park High Sparks and coach Tim Delaney looking forward to another season, but with this mindset for his young players. Take your head and your helmet out of play as far as blocking and tackling. The philosophy of the Heads Up Safety program, which as we've shown you has been taught in numerous clinics for coaches and league officials. Using the shoulder instead for the tackle, along with other safety policies on and off the field. We're doing a lot less contact during the week than we've ever done in the past. And I think that helps reduce our injury rates. Um, coaches and parents understand the signs and symptoms of concussion, I think, now better than they ever have. The state has a return to play protocol put in place so that kids aren't coming back too soon. Some of that learned from tragic, even fatal injuries at the high school level. However, it is a contact sport to begin with. So while you're looking for ways to make it safer, there may be limitations there. Yeah, uh, you know, people die in car accidents, you know, and everybody still drives. It's the same same thought. I mean, you don't have to play football. It is a tough physical game, and, and you know, we just try to make it as safe as possible for, you know, the kids that are getting involved. Coach Delaney also points out the duration of the playing career, size of the players, and speed of the game at the high school versus college, or especially pro level. But is all the CTE concern having its own impact? Five years ago, when I started with USA Football, we saw a lot of parents who were, you know, under the feeling, well, I'm not going to let my child play. And, and now I think more and more becoming educated, you know, as to, you know, the, the, the things that we're doing to try and prevent some of these issues. Coach Delaney says popular flag and touch football leagues for younger players may draw more participants into the game, but always with the goal of 11 on 11 tackle football, but with safer equipment like those upgraded helmets. And again, that heads up tackling emphasis. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.